Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to be working on a 1965 Alice Chalmers Big Ten. These tractors were pretty popular back in the day, and you could get a wide variety of attachments for them. In this particular case, you can see we have a snowblower mounted. I actually bought this from a gentleman up in Buffalo, New York. But today, what we're going to do is put these headlights on. The headlights we're going to install are brand new from Steiner Tractor. I originally purchased these for a Model B tractor, but I ended up selling it. So since I was left with these headlights, I thought, well, maybe I could put these on the Big Ten. And as it turns out, these are very similar to the original headlights. Now, sometimes you see them mounted up extra high, and I personally don't like that style. It looks kind of like Mickey Mouse, in my opinion. But if we put them down just a little bit more, we get this position. I think this looks the best for the tractor. These hood latches are a little tricky to use. You really have to make sure they're nice and tight, or the hood will come loose. So now we can see what we're dealing with. We have a grill that's at a slight angle and this piece of steel that's going straight across. Those holes were made to work with the headlights, even though it wasn't equipped with them back in the day. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get a clipboard and paper out and just start taking dimensions of the holes. It's going to be critical to have the precise measurements, otherwise this bracket is not going to line up. I'm also going to take note of this bolt in the middle. Certainly don't want any interference with the bracket. All right, now we have to design this bracket. Using this metal ruler, I'm going to measure out where I want the headlights to end up. Using just a regular piece of cardboard, we're going to draw the shape of the proposed bracket and then cut it out with some heavy duty scissors. Someone taught me years ago how beneficial it is to make your prototype out of cardboard. It's something you can find around the house and it instills confidence in your dimensions, ensuring everything is going to line up. Here it is all cut out. And the only thing that we really care about at this point are the locations of the holes. Using some masking tape, we'll go ahead and place the bracket model underneath the steel. So this is more or less how I want the bracket to turn out. But you can see just how close it is to that chrome bezel. That's way too close. And another problem is that bolt in the center. We'll figure that out shortly. Using a pencil, I'm tracing the hole where the bracket will eventually be mounted with a bolt. We'll do this for both sides. And now let's put the hood back on. So right away, we can see the bracket needs to come down. We don't want it up against the hood. Okay, so now we have to measure how much this bracket needs to come down. Alice Chalmers achieved this back in the day with two simple bushings. The bolt would go straight through and you put a nut on the other end. I'm going to represent this space with, you guessed it, more cardboard. You might think this is silly, but you know what? It's going to do the job. And here they are, my bushing representations. So now it's just a matter of taping these to the bracket and then placing it back on the tractor. I'm already noticing a difference, but I still need to address the problem with it being too far forward. This should be as simple as moving the mounting holes on the bracket itself. I can see that the headlights are about where I want them, but I may just bring it forward a little bit more. With a word processor, I was able to make the drawing, and then I took that drawing to a local machine shop to have it fabricated. The bracket was spray painted and then dried overnight. The next day, I went to install the bracket. But in the sunlight, I noticed just how cruddy it was under the hood here, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to wipe things down. That looks a whole lot better. Now comes the challenging part. I have to sandwich these bushings in between the bolt and the bracket. I'm trying to be particular here because I don't want to scratch up the bracket as I'm sliding it through here. This masking tape will hold the bushing in place until I can slide the bracket through 
and then fasten a nut on the other end. Ever so gently just sliding that bracket in and then lining it up with the bolts. We'll use a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut to fully fasten the bracket. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, installing the headlights. So here's what the headlights look like installed on the new bracket. And here they are all wired up. These will make such a difference when snow blowing at night. I think these lights add a little bit of character to the tractor. The very next day, we received quite a bit of snow. So I put the yellow tractor to work. In this next set of clips, you're gonna see the Big Ten working in a snowstorm. The storm hit real hard Sunday night and into Monday morning. So I got up extra early and fired up the Big Ten. Well, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Take care.